welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zarya Shakira back again with another YouTube video. So today I'm going to be giving you an eyebrow tutorial. So a lot of times when I do my makeup, I actually incorporate my eyebrow routine in it. But I just figured instead of trying to search for it in different videos, I might as well just make one strictly for my eyebrows. So here we are today. Excuse me for all this loud noise outside. I don't know why the days that I feel like filming is when they want to come over here and blow some leaves around. So if you hear a lot of noise in the background, that's all that is. But we're going to get into the video. So the very, very, very first thing I like to do, I really do apologize if y'all can hear this like... Y'all didn't want to come yesterday. Y'all didn't want to come the day before. Y'all didn't want to come the day before that. Y'all want to come today when I finally decide to film again and blow stuff around. Like, I don't understand. It's like the last, what, two or three times I've tried to film, these come in here blowing stuff around with their loud ass machines. Like, can I just have one day? Look, I'm trying to film tomorrow so I can give y'all an edge tutorial. But we're going to see how that go because I'm pretty sure they're going to be coming over here blowing some shit again. But anywho, so the very first thing that I like to do before I do anything makeup related is I do tone my face. If y'all want to see um, anything skincare related, y'all can go ahead and check this video out. I finally have an updated skincare routine. So if y'all want to know anything skin related that I've been doing in the past few months, Go ahead and check that video out, but what I like to do is just tone my face first. But what I like to do is just tone my face first, and then I spray my face with this Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray. I'm actually just going to insert a clip of all of the products that I do have for this tutorial today, just so I don't have to keep, you know, trying to show y'all every little product that I've been using. One product I actually forgot to put in this little clip was my primer. This primer is by e.l.f. Cosmetics. It is the Blemish Control Face Primer. I used to use the poreless one, but I switched to this one and it does just fine. So all I do is just squirt just one little dot in the middle of my forehead and then take my fingers and just work it in. So after I put the primer on, I just take my Maybelline loose powder and lightly pat my eyebrows with it. This is a trick that a lot of people should probably know about, but basically it just helps any pomade or whatever that you use on your eyebrows stick. And since doing that, I do notice that my eyebrows last literally all day. For the most part, I try not to forget this step. So the next thing I do is just brush out my hairs just so they're, you know, push up and not down because how are you going to do your brows if your hairs are going down so taking an eyebrow pencil brush whatever you call it it is from ColourPop it is their E6 brush and I'm going to be using my favorite pomade it is Elf Cosmetics brow pomade it's the shade Espresso I used to use the jet black one but like I mentioned in a previous video that was before I had friends that told me my eyebrows used to look a mess because who really has black painted on eyebrows I don't know and I actually like to spray this a little bit with the Mario B spray it just helps it stick better to me as I'm applying it so now all I'm about to do is just start on the brows I usually like to start on my right brow because it's just more comforting I'm right-handed so you know how that goes so I just like to start at the bottom of the brow and go from there For the most part, I do like shaping my natural brows, but you know, I do create a little bit of thickness when I do this because I feel like my eyebrows are really skinny and you know, I just want thicker brows. It's kind of hard talking and doing this at the same time, so I'm just trying to do my best. And don't worry if you mess up, that is what concealer is for. Just take the brush like this and just go in some more towards the what is this called the inner brow <laughs> and I just fade it out and I'm not adding any more product when I do that whatever is on here is on here 
you know just to give it that ombre effect now moving on to the other brow I'm just gonna be doing the same thing now please bear with me because sometimes my brows are sisters sometimes they're cousins sometimes they're friends um, today I'm going for sisters you never know what's gonna happen especially when you film doing your brows so just gonna be attempting to do the same thing on this brow you know it's a little bit more intimidating when you know people are gonna be watching you but here we go Bam, bam, I know you want some. I know you see it. So now taking a concealer brush, I'm just going to spray that a little bit with my Mario B spray as well. I just feel like when your brushes are just slightly wet, it helps blend it better and all that. So the concealer I'm going to be using today is this Ruby Kisses Concealer. I actually got this from the beauty supply store because I was like, you know what? Some of these concealers cost just way too much money and I can get two for the price of one. And I really like this concealer actually. So shout out to y'all Ruby Kisses because clearly I was sleep on y'all. I be at the beauty supply store like every two weeks and I never bought it. But this concealer really does work well and I love it with my foundation. I'm just going to be concealing my brows. You know, nothing new here. Everybody knows, you know, you're supposed to conceal your brows. now taking a blending brush this is like one of my favorite blending brushes especially for concealer it is the morphe 173 brush and i'm just going to take some of my urban decay spray and just spray it a little bit like i said it does help with blending out things so i do like to wet my brushes a little bit then i'm just going to blend it out y'all this concealer really is like one of the best concealers i've found especially this year and I'm kind of upset I didn't find it sooner because, oh my goodness. Like this one actually might be better than the LA girl. So the underbrow is done. I'm not finished yet, but I just want to let you guys know. So I am actually doing a look with these brows today. However, I'm not filming it. I've actually been doing a 10 days of makeup challenge on my Instagram. Some of you may know that I do do makeup and um, I just feel as though my makeup ain't really popping like that on YouTube. So I was like, well, y'all really fucks with my hair on Instagram. So I'm just going to post my makeup over there and see if y'all fuck with that too. I've actually been having a lot of fun doing that makeup challenge. So I'm excited for you guys to see it. I just feel like I haven't done makeup in a long time. A lot of my makeup does go unnoticed on my channel. If you want to see any of the looks that I'm doing for this challenge, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I will leave it somewhere in this video. I'll leave it down below in the description box. Some of you may already follow me on Instagram. Go ahead and turn my post notifications on for Instagram and YouTube while you're at it. But yeah, that's all I wanted to let you guys know. So back to the tutorial. All right, so now moving on to the top brow. Um, I'm actually going to mix my concealer with foundation because for the top of my brow, I really don't like it to look so bold. I kind of want it to blend in with the foundation on my forehead. So I'm just going to be using my NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in Sienna. I really love this foundation. This is like one of my favorite foundations of 2019. Maybe I should do like a 2019 makeup favorites. I already have a hair favorite, but um, like I said, a lot of my makeup goes on notice. So I don't know if y'all even want that from me. But if y'all want to see a makeup favorite video of 2019, go ahead and let me know before December is over. Because once it's over, I ain't doing it. And then I just mix it on my hand like this, like such like so. You know, mix it up a little bit. And then I just start to outline the top of the brow. And I actually like to start like maybe, how many centimeters is this? Like two centimeters above my eyebrow. And then I just gently lower the concealer. And once I've outlined that, I just like to blend it out. And then, 
after I conceal my brows, usually like there's a little bit of a change in the shape. So I just take the eyebrow brush again and just fix it a little bit, you know, nothing, nothing major. Next brow, doing the same thing, just start a few centimeters up, work my way down. So now we're gonna take this brush again, the Morphe 173. It's my favorite concealing brush or blending brush, whatever you call it. And I just blend that out. I know you see it. I know you see it. I'm like, bam, bam, I know you want some. You're looking at my brows like. So this is just like an extra tip that I'm gonna let you guys know that I do. Um, I do this in majority of my actual makeup looks. I feel like it gives it more of an ombre look. So now what I like to do is take my jet black pomade and just like start from the arch of my brow to the end just to give it a little bit of depth. on camera but basically it starts out light and gets darker versus this one is just one solid color um, I don't really like my eyebrows looking one note anymore so this is a trick that I love to do especially when I know I'm actually doing makeup looks if I'm just going for like a natural look then I don't worry about that part Everyone has their different style of doing brows. This, however, is mine. The last thing I like to do is take my L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascara. This is like a really, really small, a really, really small applicator brush. Come on, focus. Baby, can you? But anyway, yeah, it's really skinny and it grips the hairs like so well. Shout out to Alyssa Forever because... I don't know when she posted this video, but it was like ages ago and she used this mascara on her brows and I was like, oh my God, like I have to try it. And ever since I've been trying it, I've loved to do this. So I really, 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 really love this mascara, especially for that. All right, y'all, this completes the eyebrow tutorial today. Let me know what you guys think of my brows. Let me know if you guys use any of these products that I featured today. This is basically how I do my brows every single time I do my makeup. I will be doing more makeup looks on my channel soon, but for now, I'm just focused on my 10 days of makeup on my Instagram. So like I said, if you guys want to see any of the looks that I'm doing, go ahead and follow me. And then once that's over, or probably in the new year, then I'll probably start doing more makeup looks on my YouTube channel. But this completes my eyebrow tutorial today. Let me know what you guys think of my brows down below in the comments. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye! Before I die, I'm trying to fuck you, baby. Hopefully we don't have no babies. I don't even want to go back home. Hopefully I don't leave you on your own. Hit you up with the bomb, bomb, bomb. Not a thug, but you still be my hoe. Need a hundred thousand girls on my dog. Smell my dog, then we gotta get to go.